All right, everyone, we are jumping right into the ads by priming my lids using some concealer from Black Radiance. All products are listed down below in the description box. And I'm setting my eyes now using some chalk dust from the current case, which I purchased that along with the new Is palette from Morphe, the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. I had to get my hands on this palette. I had to. So I'm taking crazy and I'm placing that into my crease. Um, I was scared because I think I messed up placing a concealer. But once I put that crazy onto my lid, I mean, the pigmentation was awesome. Just awesome, bruh. Awesome. <laughs> and I never seen a color like this in any palette. So yeah, I knew I had to, I had to use it today. It was the color that really like stuck out to me. The next color that I'm going to use is going to be Dance Party, which is coming up. I've never seen a color like this either, or I don't have a color like this. But I used Dance Party and placed that right above Crazy. And what I'm going to do afterwards is take just a clean blending brush and blend both the colors together to get that nice blend. And let me tell you, they blended out perfectly together. These two colors work really well together. So now I'm doing a trick that I've seen a lot on Instagram by taking a cotton swab and some witch hazel and I'm cleaning up my lid to prep it for my concealer. Because if I would have placed the concealer on top of this, then I just would have, my lid would have been turned pink instead of white, basically. So I just need to clean my lid. So I'm cutting my crease using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C1. I need some more of this, so maybe I need to take a trip to Ulta. I don't know. I'm getting tired of spending money, y'all. <laughs> So now I'm taking crazy just to blend the edges out of that crease. And then after crazy, I am going to take stay true and blend that next to it. And then after stay true, I'm going to take dance party and blend that next to stay true. And then blend all three of those colors together to create the ombre effect, which is my signature look. And then whatever is left over in the lid, I'm going to take a moment. A moment is a really pretty purple shimmer shade. That is just awesome. I mean, it is beautiful, beautiful. And it's creamy too. And it just laid on the lid, on um, the lid, <laughs> the lid. It was perfect. And so what you're gonna see after this little process is me having my little dance party. You get it? Cause that's the name in the palette. <laughs> that this color combo was awesome so what i used to place in my inner corner was no joke and talia and at the end of the video i'm gonna say no joke it's my love i didn't have my glasses on so i couldn't see and for talia i just used my finger and put that in my inner corner so now i'm just taking some mascara from wet and wild and then some lashes from celeste los angeles from the pink lash look in the style trixie and i placed that onto my lids i got my hands on some duo lash glue so the lashes are finally sticking on properly so i can show y'all how i put my lashes on next we're going to the face priming my face with the maybelline master prime mer is <laughs> their hydrating primer and i'm just plate rubbing it all over my face for foundation i am using the milani 2-in-1 perfect conceal in the color nutmeg i don't think this is my color yeah i don't think that's my color <laughs> um oh that's the new sponge just sonya cashew sponge yeah, I got it from Target. Finally got to the Target, y'all. So now I'm just taking the concealer I used to prime my lids, and I'm using that to highlight my face in the regular highlighting points. I want to upload an everyday routine so I can show y'all my every other day, because I don't wear makeup every day, foundation routine. Um, this chalk dust is from the crayon case, and let me tell you, baby, it made it right into my skin like some butter. Crazy, right? Crazy. The crayon case is awesome. And I'm contouring my face with their Contouration Notebook in the color Berkey and Bobby. I am, I love to bronze my face, baby. I love to bronze it up. So I use a lot of bronzer. 
And that's the new angle brush. That's not new, but it's new to me from Current Case as well. And I'm setting my face with the Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray. So now I just took Not My Therapy, Tipsy Girl, and Positivity. And I put it on my lash, my bottom lash along with mascara. Then I took Get Ready With Me, which is a shimmer shade. And I use it as my highlighter. Cheeks, my nose, forehead, bridge my nose. I already said nose. Chin, Cupid's bow and my forehead. I already said forehead. I'm talking a little fast, am I not? Yeah, I'm trying to get through. But here's my final thoughts. I'm down to the very end of the video. So here are my final thoughts on the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. You ready? Are you ready? I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love this palette. I mean, look at my eyes. Look at this. First off, it blended so easily and I thought I was going to mess it up by placing that concealer and then putting the setting powder over it. That really didn't really like combine together well so it was looking patchy. So I thought, oh lord, my eyeshadow is going to look patchy. But it didn't do that. This formula, regardless of what people may say or think about it, it's a good formula. It's very pigmented. There is a lot of fallout, which I don't care. But then again, I do care because it just leaves it messy. And because this is like a white palette. And then on the inside is that silver gray pan. And because I have a little bit of like OCD, <laughs> the fallout really kind of gets to me sometimes. But it's easy to clean just with a makeup wipe if you want to keep everything clean. Because like... I mean, most of my palettes are dirty anyway, but I do like to keep them clean when I do decide to clean out my whole makeup organizer. But that's really the only thing when it came to the formula that was wrong with it. It just had fallout. Other than that, great pigmentation. Really great pigmentation. Now, there was one more thing. Let me, let me tell y'all the truth. One more thing. This color, Talia. This gold right here. I don't know if I did something wrong. I don't know, but it wasn't really popping unless you use your finger. That's when it really pops up and shows on your eyes. Using a brush is not going to really show that well, but if you use your finger, it will be pigmented. And it's a really great color to put in that inner corner, which I did. That yellow as well, which is called uh, My Love. Yeah, yellows are hard to make yellows are really hard to make and put in palettes but i love that yellow it showed really well if you can see it in my inner corner um these colors went perfectly together i had no clue what i was gonna do with this palette there's so many looks you can do but i'm so glad i worked with the purples and the burgundies you know this color right here crazy i've never seen a color like that in any palette i've never seen a color like that this color right here it's like a fuchsia color I don't have fuchsia color. I don't have a fuchsia color um, eyeshadow in any of my palettes. So that was awesome. I love those two colors. Uh, this color, this pink right here, Tipsy Girl, perfectly showed. And then this color right here, Positiva T, cute name right here. I love it. The next time, which I think is going to be my next video. I'm going to use this palette and I'm going to go more towards the neutral shades next time. I just wanted to touch these purples. Purples and yellows are so hard to make. But, you know, she did the darn thing. Miss Jacqueline did this. I love this palette. I have just so many looks you create. And for my highlight, do you see that? Do you see that? I use Get Ready With Me. This color right here. It is perfectly glowing on my skin. Just the right amount of glow. I don't like too much highlight, but that shimmer shade right here did just the job. It's a really great palette, you know. She should be proud of herself. I am. I haven't been following her that long. I've heard of her, and I wanted her volume one palette. I just never got a chance to get my hands on it. But I absolutely love this palette. Um, is it worth buying? Yes, it is. Regardless of all the opinions and comments that you may read, it's worth buying. You know, I feel like people should just let up a little bit. Like, good gracious. The main ones that are talking to me are the main ones that buy it and keep giving Morphe and Miss Jacqueline their money. So, shut up. <laughs> um, Let's see. For my new products, which were the crayon case, 
eyebrow pomade and their chalk dust. Perfect. First off, let's talk about this chalk dust. <sighs> this melted right into my skin. Melted right into my skin. Now, now knowing what color N is, because I couldn't really tell looking at other YouTube videos and on the website. Now knowing that what N is, is a really bright yellow. And I, and I had was skeptical of using it. I was very skeptical of using it. I was like, I'm going to look bright. I don't like to look bright. I like to look even, so to say. But from looking at my skin now, I mean, look. I mean, it just melted into my skin. So, honestly, any girl my color or darker, I believe you could use this. I should have got A. And may, maybe I'll get that next time. A is like a neutral tone. And I think that would have went real perfectly. But it melted right into my skin. This is some good chalk dust, a.k.a. setting powder. This is really good. The next thing I got from Crown Case was their eyebrow pomade, medium brown. I was going to get dark brown because I was like, oh, medium brown. It's going to look more gray tone. It's going to be a real light brown. No, baby. This is pigmented. I dipped into it. Not even that hard. And look how much product it picked up. I love a good pigmented eyebrow pomade. I like a pomade versus a pencil because pencils aren't pigmented to me. But that right there is pigmented. You know, for the girls that are getting dark brown, or you like a like a real dark brow, but you like a you know a brow to match the color of your hair. My hair is black. I recommend getting medium brown. This stuff is awesome. Crankcase has awesome products, regardless of all of that. That's another video I need to do, just an all crankcase products. Cause I have a lot of their products um <laughs> video but other than that this is the end of the video um I really hope y'all enjoyed it please if you can go purchase this palette I believe it's worth it like all these colors all the looks you can create like why not especially if you're into colors but this look right here is you know it's full glam I think it's subtle some people might not agree with that but I think it is but go check out this palette. If you can't, you know, get it all in the $39 plus tax is going to be about $44. Do Afterpay. It's like going to be four payments of $11 if you are qualified for Afterpay. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Final thoughts. Awesome. I love this palette and I will be using this. I most likely will be using this all the time, okay? This is an awesome palette. Now I gotta find somewhere to put it because my palettes are like this, this big. <laughs> so this is the end of the video. I really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you can recreate this look. If you have this palette, uh, or if you have any ideas I should do with this palette, please leave them down in the comments below. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Click that bell button so that you're notified of my next upload. And I can't wait to see y'all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I just wanted to add a disclaimer at the end of the video. I have been pronouncing some of these names of the eyeshadows so very wrong. And it's because I don't have my glasses on. So please forgive me. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. And I can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>